Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new here, welcome back. Today we are getting into the very first episode of a show that is probably the most requested thing that you guys have asked me to watch. We are getting into Hannibal. Now, I've seen a bunch of the movies. I think the only one that I've not seen is Hannibal Rising, but I don't believe that I need to have seen those prior to watching this because I'm fairly certain that this series is based on just the books. But I have seen Silence of the Lambs, I've seen Hannibal, and I've seen... Actually, no, there's two that I haven't seen because I didn't see... I believe there was a Red Dragon movie and I didn't see that. But I did see whatever the one was from like... I want to say the 80s with William Peterson. I think it was called Manhunter. But you guys chalked this up as being an amazing show. So I'm trusting you on this. So what we'll do is I'll do, I'm gonna do the first season to make sure that I, you know, wanna continue watching it. And then after that, we'll determine when I'll do season two, if I'll do season two. Before we get into the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification button so that you can get notifications for when I upload a new video. Also feel free to check me out on social media. I have Instagram and I have Twitter. All right, let's get into it. Season one, episode one of Hannibal. going on with the flashes. What does that mean? I'm so confused as to what that was for. Yikes! Damn, he flew. I shoot Mrs. Marlowe expertly through the neck. This is not a fatal wound. The bullet misses every artery. She's paralyzed before it leaves her body. Oh, so maybe he's like trying to like recreate the uh, recreate the crime scene to determine exactly what happened and the actions of the killer. That's interesting. We detected a front door alarm. Yeah, sorry about that. Is there anyone in the house with you at this time, Mrs. Marlowe? I'm just here with my husband. She almost it almost sounds like a soundboard. Like all of the the audio was just like spliced together. Like they weren't actually having a conversation. Now think about killing Mrs. Marlowe. Why did she deserve this? Tell me your design. Tell me who you are. Good old Lawrence Fishburne. Eight girls abducted. Well, there were seven. There were. When did you tag the eighth? About three minutes before I walked into your lecture hall. So are they after Hannibal? Are they after Buffalo Bill? St. Cloud State on the Mississippi disappeared on Friday. Was supposed to house sit for her parents over the weekend, feed the cat. She never made it home. So it said that it was based on characters from Red Dragon. So that would be why none of this even remotely looks familiar to me because I have not read Dra I have not read Red Dragon, and I have not watched Red Dragon. You have a very specific way of thinking about things. There have been a lot of discussion about the uh, specific way I think. So is this like a predator? the predator type situation where they're utilizing him because he thinks differently because he's on the spectrum. Okay. I wonder if that was in the original novel. How's your cat? At least was supposed to feed it. Was the cat weird when you came home? Must have been hungry, didn't eat all weekend. I wonder if that means that whoever did it was keeping up with the cat, feeding the cat. The Nichols house is a crime scene. Why is it now a crime scene? Can I see your daughter's room? Police were up there this morning. They do that a lot in shows when somebody asks a question, like, what's going on? Instead of just telling them what's going on, they just continue to ask more and more questions. Like, that's not going to frustrate the person that they're talking to. Elise, I need you to leave the room. What? They didn't know that the body was in the bedroom? Uh... And I... Oh! I think his uh, his way of looking into the crimes he's a little bit too close to it, if you ask me. Because that's a little that that's a lot. Like a method actor who gets too far into character and has sh trouble shaking it off. Ah, see, he's a good person. He left and went back for the dog. <laughs> Everybody, everybody, this is Winston. Damn, he's got a lot of dogs. So is this like one of his quirks? I don't know what to call it, because I, I know, I, I've i read that people on the spectrum have these sort of like quirks and stuff. I don't know the technical term, so I don't want to be offensive, but 
I'm wondering if that's what this is. Nope. Too deep into it. Too deep into it. Stop it. Get some help. That was a really cool shot, though. <laughs> what? He couldn't honor her. He feels bad. Well, feeling bad defeats the purpose of being a psychopath, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Then what kind of crazy is he? This bathroom is giving me The Shining. Oh, the, uh, the, the red on the white. Oh, it's very striking. I got you. Metal shavings. I wonder what it is. Was that the killer? The killer and the next victim? Oh, what the hell? I, I, I will give it this. The imagery so far, and we're only like 15 minutes into it, the imagery is beautiful. Scary, but beautiful. The liver was removed. I took it out, yeah. He put it back in. There's something wrong with the meat. She has liver cancer. So it is Hannibal, okay. Ooh, that looks delicious. I mean, I hope it's not like people, but it looks delicious. Our brain is designed to experience anxiety. It's why you feel as though a lion were on the verge of devouring you. You have to convince yourself the lion is not in the room. When it is, I assure you, you will know. Oh, this is cool to see more of like the beginning of when he was an actual psychiatrist. Psychologist? One of those two? You expecting another patient? We all alone. No secretary? She was predisposed to romantic whims. Followed her heart to the United Kingdom. Sad to see her go. Or did he eat her? I'm beginning to suspect you're investigating me. No, you were referred to me by Alana Bloom. Most psychology departments are filled with personality deficients. <laughs> Dr. Bloom would be the exception. He has a very interesting accent. Obviously, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to compare him to Anthony Hopkins because I get it's supposed to be two different iterations of the character, but I can't place where he's actually from. Like, I get like a UK type accent, but it's, it's different. I need you to help me with a psychological profile. Hmm. Not fun to buy contact. The eyes are distracting. It's hard to focus when you're thinking, um, oh, those whites are really white. I already can tell that the, the interactions between teeth, uh, the, the relationship between these two is going to be extremely interesting. Honey, you've got a big storm coming. Don't psychoanalyze me. You won't like me when I'm psychoanalyzed. Well, now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go give a lecture. He seems to be very angry. That's my secret, Cat. I'm always angry. What he has is pure empathy. He can assume your point of view, or mine, and maybe some other points of view that scare him. Perception's a tool that's pointed on both ends. It's interesting. Perception is a thing that's pointed on both ends. Yeah, I, I already can tell. I, I, I like how they're going to have him analyzing the characters around him. Ew. Same hair color, same eye color, same height. She's an only child. She's leaving home. He can't stand the thought of losing her. I wonder if the ability to like show up to a crime scene like this and be able to basically see nothing except the crime scene and suddenly be able to like come up with all of, you know, their occupation, what they like to do for fun, how many children they have, the relationships with others. I wonder how accurate that is to real life and if people can actually do that given such minimal details that they're provided about the perp. I'm very careful about what I put into my body, which means I end up preparing most meals myself. A little protein scramble to start the day. Ew, is he gonna feed him lungs? Ugh, oh, truly, truly evil. You and I just like problem free. Nothing about us to feel horrible about. How do you see me? The mongoose I went under the house when the snakes slither by. Finish your breakfast. So I don't know yet if there actually is two separate killers or if both of them so far have been Hannibal. But I like the idea of Hannibal being involved in the police investigation. And I'm assuming he's going to be Maybe not necessarily steering people away from his crimes, but utilizing 
what uh, the main character, I forget his name, the main character's analysis of the murder scenes and, and the profile that he's building on the killer, utilizing that to constantly stay one step ahead of the police. It's interesting. Garrett Jacob Hobbs. Yeah? You don't know me, and I suspect we'll never meet. This is a courtesy call. Listen very carefully. They know. Oh. I wonder why he did that. Maybe he's, like, getting off on being a part of the investigation, so he's trying to prolong it. Ah! Oh. oh, shit. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, shit. But why did he go nuts and start killing his own family? Look at him. And didn't manage to get any blood on that suit. Go Hannibal. You know what I mean. Aside from the fact that he's a serial killer. He's got class! He's got style! Oh, so they saved her. Why is he there? So I feel like the show's really gonna get into the mind of a serial killer. And I am not prepared, but I'm ready. All right, so that was the first episode of Hannibal. I really, really enjoyed that. It's gonna take more as we go along through the season for me to really be able to formulate my thoughts, but the the narrative itself is really, really interesting to me. I like the juxtaposition a lot between Hannibal and Will. Put it, putting aside what I already know about the character of Hannibal Lecter, both Hannibal and Will, as seen in this first episode, definitely have a lot of psychological uh, I don't. I don't want to say issues, but it, it's like we're 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 seeing different forms of how the mind thinks, and some of them are good, but you know, go hand in hand with uh, going too far down the wrong path can ultimately hurt you. And I see that in Will's character a lot. You know, they've presented him as a character who's on the spectrum, and he's incredibly intelligent and he becomes very engrossed in these dark macabre things, but getting too close to these subjects ultimately has a negative effect on him. Whereas in contrast, you have Hannibal, who is obviously evil Knievel underneath it all, but is very calm, cool, and collected on the outside. So it's like Hannibal is presented as, like, I feel like if you switched the two characters' personalities, that would make more sense in what we look at as good and evil. Because realistically, Hannibal should be the one that is acting erratic and out of sorts. But he's the cool, calm, and collected one. That's cool. The visuals, I'm glad that it's not just going to be a, a heavy show, high in, in, in plot, something that you really have to pay attention to, but it doesn't have any sort of visuals as a companion to it. This does. Already some stunning shots, so I'm excited to get into the to the next episode. So let's do it. Episode two of Hannibal. Oh, he's off his game big time. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, he didn't really seem to have trouble hitting him before. Oh, so he was right. Whoever did it did have a cabin. So then what's the deal? Did Hannibal even kill any of these people? Or are we just led to believe that he's involved with it? I don't know. Oh, gosh. Can you imagine walking into a room and seeing that? That would chill me to my core. Fuck this. It's a lot of work, disappearing these girls, butchering them, and not leaving a shred of anything other than what's in this room. Someone he hunted with. He thinks his daughter was involved in it? Well, that would be a plot twist now, wouldn't it? Someone else was here. Now who is this? Garrett Jacob Hobbs is dead. The question now is how to stop those his story is going to inspire. He's already got one admirer. Yikes. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess it would make sense the more that something, it's very scream in this way, but the more something is publicized, the more chances you have for a copycat killer. Twisted world we live in. I asked you to get close to the Hobbs thing. I need to know you didn't get too close. How many nights did you spend in Abigail Hobbs' hospital room, Will? Therapy doesn't work on me. It might work with Hannibal Lecter. I'm surprised that they're even considering putting him back in the field, given the track record that he just talked about. Look at that, look, how cool would that be to just have, like you could put like your books and your DVD and your Blu-ray collection up there and you have a, a cool little ladder to get to it. Ah, the design. Is this therapy or a, a support group? It's whatever you need it to be. The mirrors in your mind can reflect the best of yourself, not the worst of someone else. So I'm wondering if like the, the therapy sessions that they're gonna have together is gonna, how that'll actually play into it. It's obviously gonna make Will warm up to Hannibal a little bit more, but maybe over the course of things, it's gonna have the reverse effect and Will's gonna start to pick up that there's something off with Hannibal. <laughs> Why are they all left, or uh, they're all right hands? Why, are, why, why, why? I took you for an isosceles guy. Uh, I have a rotator cuff issue, so I have to use the weaver stance. You are tight. <laughs> yeah, I got stabbed in the third grade with a number two pencil. Thought I was gonna get lead poisoning. No lead in pencils, it's graphite. Wait, is that true? There's no graphite in regular pencils? It say graphite on the pencil? Jack sent me down here to find out what you know about gardening. Oh my gosh, the mushrooms are growing out of the corpses. That is wild. That's insane. I've never seen a visual like that before. That's wild. He buried them in a high nutrient compost. He was enthusiastically encouraging decomposition. They were buried alive with the intention of keeping them that way. The f The other end of the air supply system comes up over there. It isn't a very considerate clean air solution, which clearly wasn't a priority because he isn't lazy. So do they think that this is another case? Oh yeah, because they, well, wait a minute. They thought that the body that they found in the field was not the same killer as the first one that they found in the houses. So do they think that this is a different killer? Can you uh, tell me what that man is doing over there by himself? He's some kind of special consultant, works for the FBI. Well, she's clearly in on it, but how? Yeah, clearly not ready to be back in the field. Holy crap. I want to know. I'm going to have to look up afterwards. I want to know who did the practical effects and the makeup design because it's very, it reminds me a lot of Walking Dead. I remember in The Walking Dead, there was a zombie that was like part of a tree. It had like been sitting there for so long that it grew into the tree. That's what that reminds me of. Is that what your farmer is looking for? Some sort of connection? Have a good evening, Will. Yeah, what? Who is she? Is she a patient? Miss Kimball? Yes. Good evening. Please come in. Oh, interesting. It's Glenda. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm afraid I must ask for your back. What? Your back. Please hand it over. She's like, do you see a camera? <clears throat> You bought me this purse, didn't you? I was recording our conversation. Our conversation? Yours and mine? Yes. No other conversation? No. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. Loin, served with a Cumberland sauce of red fruits. Uh, loin, what kind? Pork. Is he just gonna be serving people human flesh throughout this entire show? Cause, ugh. Well, next time, bring your wife. I'd love to have you both for dinner. I <laughs> see what they did there. <laughs> if you're asking me whether or not I've ever lost someone in the field, the answer is yes. Why? I want to understand why you're so delicate with Will. Because you don't trust him or because you're afraid of losing another pony? Yeah, the, the, the under lip facial hair that they have on Lawrence Fishburne, I don't understand it. I don't know who made that decision. I hope he shaves it. 
I can't pronounce the name of this man who is playing Hannibal Lecter, but damn the bone structure. It's all bone structure. Picking up a prescription for Gretchen Speck. Is that, isn't that one of the, that's the, that's one of the girls who went up in flames in Final Destination 3 in the tanning bed. I just want to make sure that we look our best. Yeah. You know, for all those kids that died that night, we'll never get a graduation. And that's your correct address? Yeah. Thank you. So it's a completely different killer for each one but they're just utilizing Hannibal Lecter as like a consult. He's just consulting. Oh, crap. She's alive! Ashley. I think it was Ashley and Ashlyn or something like that in Final Destination 3. She will be Ashley moving forward. All right, so is he gonna kill Glenda? Who is it? Oh. I appreciate the pageantry, Agent Crawford, but you can't arrest me for writing an article. You, you know what? Interfering with a police investigation poses many a problem in a court of law. Oh, Lord. You got all that information from a local detective. She's having sex with the guy, with the, the other cop, calling in out. Look at the look, look at the look. Local police detective looking for a pissing contest with the FBI might have some insight. Look, he's looking at her like, you spill the tea, you don't get the D. Was that a moose? An elk? That was a huge, whatever it was. That's what she said. <laughs> don't feel sorry for yourself because you saved this girl's life. I don't feel sorry for myself at all i feel uh, good he feels good i mean obviously he's struggling with the trauma that comes what i would imagine hand in hand with taking somebody's life but i wonder what he meant by that you stir the hornet's nest and i'm the one who gets stung i can help you get work outside the force if you want me to Ooh, i don't like her i don't like her at all she's conniving <laughs> i read your article Tell me about Will Graham. Holy shit! I don't know if it's that easy to mingle into the rest of the crowd like that. I don't know about that. And no one noticed. No one noticed. She literally had an, a breathing tube. Mm, I don't know about all that. Damn, he's just shooting everybody now. We all evolved from mycelium. I'm simply reintroducing her to the concept. By burying her alive. The journalist said you understood me. Crazy motherfucker. No, no. I don't want to understand people who choose to uh, turn other people into portobello mushrooms. No. It wasn't the act of killing Hobbs that got you down, was it? Did you really feel so bad because killing him felt so good? I like killing Hobbs. Ooh, is he like manipulating him into becoming a killer himself? Be a pretty um, nefarious way to go about it. It's like a different form of harming somebody. It's just psychologically abusing them and manipulating them, even when they don't know it. I mean, I get, yeah, it's gaslighting, I suppose, but. All right, so that was episode two of season one of Hannibal. Again, another great episode. I'm still trying to figure out what, I mean, granted we're only on episode two, but the intentions be behind Hannibal towards Will, because Hannibal himself does not appear to be the one that is killing these people. We now have episode one, we caught a killer, caught. Episode two, we caught a killer. Hannibal hasn't done anything yet to my knowledge. I mean, although we saw him, you know, eating the lungs. I don't even know if that was human lung. I don't know. I think it's entirely possible that they're just playing that to the audience so far because most audiences who will be watching this show are aware of who Hannibal Lecter is. One thing that I really, really, really do enjoy that they're doing so far is every single time Will's character is examining a crime scene and he does, has the whole like, pendulum type flash in front of his eyes and then he is like in the spirit of whoever did the murder. 
I like the visual style of that. I love it. it, it it's got a little bit of like a grungy 70s feel to it. Like there's an obvious uh, grainy filter put over it. Love that. And, and the overall coloring of the show, I'm a big fan of too, because I like in a lot of horror, the color palette, how they make it cold, I guess. But there's, there's, there's a line for me. There's going over, whereas like um, this is cold, but the colors that they use are very bright. Like, take uh, Miss Glenda, the, the reporter chick. Her hair, stunning by the way, her hair contrasted with how cold everything looks behind her. Ugh. Let me know what you guys thought about these two episodes, and I will see you for episodes three and four.